Welcome, welcome! It's my dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today I thought I would check out the roadmap roundup from this week. I know it's a little late, but uh, let's go through and see some of the changes that they have on there because there's quite a few. So if we scroll down, of course they say the typical stuff at the beginning. The things that they are adding to the release view for 318. Let's dive right in. So, Daymar Crash Site. They are going to add a derelict settlement on Daymar using parts of a Star Runner and a 600i, as well as some HABs adapted to the biome uh, to create a point of interest with some type of activity like a puzzle, a traversal, a hostile AI, some missions, something along those lines, as well as some rewards for the completion. So, that'll be a lot of fun. You can go to Daymar, find that settlement, and, uh, you know, have some fun there. Uh, the Javelin Wreck, I'm still wondering what they're going to do with that. If they just leave it the way it is, or maybe they add something else in there. That would be really cool. Maybe some special loot boxes or something. Uh, new Rivers in Stanton. They are setting up biome-specific object rule sets around bodies of water and distributing those by placing additional rivers in lakes on Microtech and Hurston. So those are the two places that are going to get the rivers first. Sand Cave Archetype. They are going to establish the visual language, uh, create a pipeline and a quality standard for new sand cave archetype. So with this, uh, with that release, the cave networks using that archetype will be placed throughout the Stanton system. So it won't be just like on Daymar, which is an obvious choice for a sand cave. You may get it on Aberdeen or Ariel, both places that are pretty arid themselves. Uh, you could have sand caves just about anywhere. Arita Commander Classic Race Mode Overhaul. So, if you watched my video from yesterday, you would know that they were adding this to the roadmap. So, a complete overhaul of all systems and maps in Arena Commander's Classic Race Mode. Uh, the improvements are going to include a complete refactor of the Checkpoint Entity and Race Manager system, as well as improvements to scoring and a complete rework of all three New Horizon Speedway maps, as well as a new map, the Snake Pit, which the Snake Pit, if you didn't know, was already created. Uh, and I think they said we could play it in 317.2, but I haven't gone to find that out yet. Uh, if you guys have found the Snake Pit, let me know. I thought it was going to be in the PU as opposed to Arena Commander. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be in both places. Sandbox Prison Activities. Expansion of prison gameplay with a new suite of missions and sandbox activities to give inmates more opportunities to earn merits or to aid in their escape from prison. Still wanting to know if they have a second escape path out of the prison. As far as I know, nobody has found that. Um, I, I haven't even looked for it in a long time. So, uh, you know, I've got the first escape route really down. I can do that fairly well. So, uh, you know, it'd be interesting to see if there's a second one. They haven't added the creatures in yet, as far as I know. So I imagine when they add creatures, in, they may be adding the second escape route for us to get scared uh, the bejesus out of us. Uh, so that could be interesting. Uh, Security Post Korea reactivation. Now, this is huge. Security Post Korea will be taking a more central role in Stanton security. Crusader Security have moved in a full-time staff and have begun storing confiscated contraband aboard. The station will be off-limits to all civilians unless given prior authorization. So I'm guessing that means a mission. Uh, either you're the good guys and you're going over there, or you're bad guys and you're going to try to loot some of the confiscated contraband over there. Uh, either way, it could be a lot of fun, especially... Um, you know, well, yeah, you'll have plenty of targets to shoot at, I'm sure. New missions, Orison. Bounty, assassinate, clear all other missions to take place on the platforms created for the Siege of Orison, which, in the future, will be distributed across the planet of Crusader to create further content. Uh, so, we could have different places to go on Orison uh, that'll spawn some different missions for us. 
new interdiction scenarios. They're gonna add new variations and difficulty levels of the interdiction scenarios that players will come across while quantum traveling. So it's not just gonna be police or pirates pulling you over, or it could be still those uh, different entities, but they, it'll be varying in, in skill level to have to deal with uh, in types of interdiction. Environmental space missions. Implementation of new missions and scenarios that the player will encounter as they wander around an area of space. The missions that appear will be based on the probability volumes that a player is currently in. So now we're starting to talk about <clears throat> the back end systems saying, well, there could be a lot of people flying through this area. And there are several NPCs in this area. What are the chances that the player comes across it? Well, oh yeah, this it may be one in a hundred, but we rolled the one. So you're actually going to be encounter, you know, this Banu Merchantman or whatever. And that's probably not going to be it, but you get the idea. You're going to encounter an NPC, whether it's good, bad, ugly, and uh, you could end up getting a mission based on that um, or some sort of interactions. Uh, salvage, hole stripping. Previously, the initial release of, release of hole stripping uh, was limited to FPS and the Drake Vulture. This is being updated to also include hole stripping aboard the Aegis Reclaimer using its remote salvage turrets. Therefore, for this card description has been updated to reflect this. Awesome. So a lot of people were wondering when we're gonna get that for the Reclaimer. They made it official. It's coming in in 318. So let's take a look at some other stuff uh, that they have going on. Here you can see the new missions for Orson, the sandbox prison activities, and the security post Korea reactivation. Deliverables that were updated, uh, bug fixing and tech debt, persistent streaming and server meshing. Some work was removed on that, interesting. Environmental space missions and new interdiction scenarios. Uh, so those of course were added. Ongoing sprints, the AI commuter, AI medical, AI off-duty activities like sleeping, AR and map marker system rework, so the altered reality. Uh, Argo SRV, the tow truck, still people working on that. Asteroid facilities, Atlas, Banu Merchantman, yay. Uh, Bounty Hunter version two, bug fixing and tech debt. Uh, 49 devs have actively worked on that. Building interiors, cargo system refactor, three devs still working on that. Cave archetypes, which we heard about. Then you get into Squadron 42, chapters 1, 2, 4, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 23, all having some sort of work done or uh, uh, number of active developers decreasing or increasing on those chapters. So maybe some of them are winding down, some of them are heating up. Character work, 59 active devs working on character work. That seems kind of amazing. Uh, commodity kiosk, cooperative locomotion, derelict spaceship points of interest, DGS crash recovery, DGS mesh node, doors, airlocks, light panels, UI. One dev working on all that. Drake Corsair, six devs working on it. It looks like uh, some devs have dropped off of it. The Drake Vulture, dynamic events, dynamic mission system, enemy characters, enemy ships, EVA Tier 2, Fire Hazards, Fire Rats Armor, Flak Ammunition, FPS Devices Tier 1, FPS Radar and Scanning, can't wait for that one, Frontier Clothing, Gen 12 Render is still being worked on, Hex, Jump Points, Ladders Tier, Z or tier 1, Life Support Tier 0, Loreville Cityscape is still getting worked on. You know, I thought that was going to be in earlier. I guess it's been pushed back a little bit. Map and radar system rework, MFD rework, miscellaneous support, Mobiglass rework, new interdiction scenarios, new missions for Orison, new player experience, Outpost, Homestead, Independent, and Outlaw, persistent streaming and server meshing. A lot of devs working on that. Physical damage and breakability, physics, rope simulation, player interaction experience, tier zero, hints and interactions, tier one, lockers and inventory, and tier two, visor, HUD, and helmet. Pyro space station still work, being worked on. Pyro system, planets, 
and mission setups, quantum simulation, quantum travel experience, replication layer entity authority, rescue transport missions, resource management, RSI Apollo, salvage tier zero, sandbox, sandbox prison activities, security post Korea reactivation, ship CPUs, shopkeeper outfits, squadron 42 vehicle support, and then there's five unannounced vehicles that are being worked on. Uh, unified item ports for FPS, virtual AI service, visor lens rework, Xenothreat armor, and zero-G push and pull is still being worked on. Uh, this might be the longest worked on feature ever. Like, seriously, I think it was back on the roadmap in 2016. It's been there for a while. But hey, evidently it's being worked on. So guys, what do you think about this week's Roadmap Roundup? Are you impressed with the amount of things that are being added to 318? Are you disappointed? Uh, what is something that you feel like they could have pushed back longer uh, or something that has been pushed back too long? Uh, maybe you wanted to see that. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, thank you for tuning in once again. Please make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out a ton. Definitely check out my Patreon and YouTube members. Uh, I really do appreciate everybody that contributes to that. You guys are freaking rock stars. Uh, thanks once again. This is Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy, and I'll see you out in the verse.